What makes a narcissist turn evil? Here are the nine satanic spirits behind them. Greetings everyone, thank you for joining us once again for another sincere conversation. My aspiration is that divine wisdom can guide us through life's difficulties. If you find our content beneficial, kindly subscribe and turn on notifications. Your support means a great deal to me. We've all had experiences with narcissists or faced narcissistic behavior at some point, and it's no mystery that they can cause disorder in all areas of our lives. However, have you ever thought that beyond their pomposity and self-centeredness, darker forces could be involved? Precisely, narcissists are often under the influence of satanic powers. A narcissist, you see, is a person who has unwittingly submitted to the sinister forces that fuel their narcissism. These satanic influences tempt them with illusions of self-assurance, dominance, and authority. Regrettably for the narcissist, they are burdened with profound guilt that they continuously attempt to conceal and reject, making them an effortless target for evil entities. Consequently, our minds become the main battlefield for their attacks. If these malevolent forces succeed in infiltrating our psyche, they possess the ability to taint our relationships and spread turmoil throughout our existence. In truth, this susceptibility makes them the ideal target for malevolent entities. The objective of these dark spirits is not only to disrupt the narcissist's life, but also to adversely affect the lives of everyone around them. Unknown to us, the narcissist serves as a conduit for these menacing beings, providing them access to people they would have never been able to reach otherwise. Their goal is to make you doubt your mental stability and be so engrossed by your own self-focused thoughts that you lose sight of God and His divine plan. Indeed, narcissists are the devil's tools meant to obstruct your connection with God, subject you to a continuous emotional whirlwind, entangle you in a damaging thought process, mislead you into thinking that it's your responsibility to correct someone else's behavior. Having said that, Let's explore nine common satanic spirits that operate behind the facade of narcissism and discover how to counteract them to improve our protection. Now, let's delve into the first satanic spirit, the spirit of envy. Envy is a resentful emotion that is triggered by another person's prosperity or luck. It's closely linked to the desire for what others have, and our moral compass has made it abundantly clear that such feelings are not appropriate, as expressed in the commandment, Thou shalt not covet. The reality is that Satan himself is the embodiment of envy, and narcissists perpetually believe they deserve more than what they currently possess. There are several satanic spirits at play, but envy stands out as the most dominant. This spirit has the potential to wreak havoc in our lives by igniting a series of negative emotions, inclusive of but not limited to feelings of resentment, vengeance, scorn, anger, hatred, cruelty, division, envy, and rivalry. Envy is a dangerous spirit that can rapidly engulf us if we let our guard down. Recognizing this association is vital as we gear up to resist it and protect our mental and emotional health. Next, we examine the second satanic spirit, the spirit of control. Have you ever experienced the sensation of being smothered by another person's insistence on controlling every facet of your life? This is the handiwork of the spirit of control. Those who are influenced by this spirit never act with the welfare of others in mind. Instead, they aim to dominate and manipulate those around them for their own benefit. Narcissists are skilled practitioners of this kind of manipulation, exploiting the weak and using their emotions as a tool to gain control. They will stop at nothing to accomplish their objectives, even if it entails ruining the lives of those in their path. This spirit is often labeled as the Jezebel spirit and can be present in both males and females. It strives to control not only individuals, but also how they are perceived by the public, leaving its victims feeling powerless and isolated. However, it's crucial to recall that we possess the ability to liberate ourselves from the grip of the spirit. By leaning on God's strength and wisdom, we can confront those who strive to control us and escape their manipulation. Next, the third satanic spirit, the spirit of pride. When you come across someone whose self-importance is overpowering, you are witnessing the influence of the spirit of pride. This spirit is the foundation of any self-centered mindset. Narcissists often exhibit this characteristic, insisting on their preferences and bragging about their successes. 
Their sense of privilege manifests in both subtle and glaring ways as they try to raise themselves above others. Their victim-like attitude further enhances their conceit, creating a harmful environment that makes those around them feel lesser and insignificant. However, remember this vital fact, God cherishes humility more than anything else. It's said that individuals who humble themselves will be lifted up, while those who lift themselves up will be humbled. As we aim to emulate his example, we must resist the temptation to succumb to pride and instead seek ways to serve others and prioritize their needs over ours. Don't allow the spirit of pride to gain control in your life, as it only leads to ruin and estrangement from God. Rather, strive for modesty and aim to reflect love and empathy towards all individuals. Now, let's discuss the fourth satanic spirit, the spirit of deception. If you've ever felt that someone's words don't align with their actions, then you have experienced the influence of the spirit of deception, also known as a lying spirit. Narcissists are experts at manipulating language to deceive and bewilder those around them, altering the meaning of words and hiding the truth. Their ultimate objective is to inflate their own ego at your cost, leaving you feeling disoriented and uncertain about reality. These malevolent spirits also result in religious constraints, superstitions, false prophecies, accusations, gossip, slander, and erroneous teachings that can make us feel ensnared and desperate. Narcissists serve as Satan's spokespersons on earth, disseminating deceit and confusion wherever they go. However, as devout believers, we must hold on to the truth contained in God's word and stand strong against these deceivers. Remember, those who act sincerely and speak the truth will receive the Lord's commendation. Don't let the spirit of deception take control in your life. Depend on God to lead you through the confusion and reveal the truth in all circumstances. You deserve honesty and clarity, and with God on your side, you can extricate yourself from the narcissist's web of falsehoods. Next, the fifth satanic spirit, the spirit of confusion. This spirit is like a crafty and perilous weapon that the enemy uses to plant seeds of uncertainty and chaos in our minds, making us susceptible to his assaults. It acts like a fog that muddles our thoughts and diverts us from God's word, often leading us to question our own mental state. Narcissists flourish in these conditions, as the spirit of confusion diverts the attention away from their misdeeds and towards our disarray. This spirit is cunning and can make us feel inundated and powerless, causing us to question our faith and our capability to distinguish good from evil. Moving on to the sixth satanic spirit, the spirit of condemnation. This spirit aligns perfectly with a narcissist's modus operandi as it fuels harsh criticisms intended to pinpoint flaws in their victims. The narcissist's tactic revolves around diversion, and this spirit functions as a mechanism to transfer the blame and make their victims feel powerless. The spirit of condemnation is widespread and the narcissist will frequently scrutinize and criticize every action, giving the impression that their victim can never do anything correctly. This relentless wave of negativity can shatter our self-confidence, leaving us feeling humiliated and insignificant. It's crucial to identify the spirit in our lives and realize that we don't need to live under its sway. Remember, you are precious and cherished in the eyes of God, and no words from the spirit of condemnation can change that. Now, the seventh satanic spirit, the spirit of witchcraft. It's crucial not to dismiss all forms of witchcraft as mere sorcery or dark magic. Narcissists are, indeed, adept manipulators, and they play a vital role in stirring up rebellion and witchcraft. It's said that the sin of rebellion is akin to that of divination and arrogance. This malevolent spirit is often linked with Jezebel due to her association with idolatry. Therefore, when you come across a manipulative and rebellious individual, it's vital to remember the link between ism and the spirit of witchcraft. Keep this in mind as we explore strategies to shield ourselves and maintain a robust relationship with God. Move to the eighth satanic spirit, the spirit of fear. Have you ever encountered a person who appears to be bold and self-assured, yet something about them feels off? This could be the work of the spirit of fear, which is often at the heart of a narcissist's actions. Despite their outward show of courage, narcissists are frequently plagued by deep-seated fear and insecurity. They project an image of confidence to conceal their inner chaos, hoping to deceive others into thinking they possess self-assuredness where none truly exists. In truth, 
They are just immature individuals who are always on the hunt for susceptible victims they can manipulate to feel courageous. Narcissists employ their deceptive strategies to exert dominance over others, exploiting their fears and weaknesses. However, the reality is that they are actually immobilized by their own terror and remorse. Their fear is a cage that confines them to a cycle of damaging behavior and unhealthy relationships. Don't let the spirit of fear seize control of your life. Rely on God's love and direction to help you surmount your personal worries and insecurities. Remember, for God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Lastly, the ninth satanic spirit, the spirit of isolation. Now, let's examine the destructive essence of the spirit of isolation. This satanic force functions by instigating an intense sensation of solitude and detachment, driving a barrier between individuals and their networks of support. Narcissists employ this spirit to isolate their victims, leaving them exposed and more easily manipulated. Isolation can take on various forms, like severing communication with friends and family, spreading gossip to breed mistrust, or manipulating situations to make the victim feel deserted. The objective is to render the victim entirely reliant on the narcissist, creating an environment where their control is unchallenged. This spirit not only inflicts emotional and psychological harm, but also jeopardizes one's spiritual health. Isolation can drive individuals to question their faith, making them vulnerable to the deceptions and manipulations of the narcissist. Recognizing the spirit of isolation is crucial, as it enables individuals to seek help and liberate themselves from the shackles of solitude. As believers, we must remember that God invites us into community, promoting love, support, and fellowship. Resist the spirit of isolation by fostering robust ties with others and seeking solace in the love and understanding of those who genuinely care. In doing so, we can counteract the schemes of the satanic forces that aim to isolate and dominate us. Protecting oneself from individuals who thrive on chaos and negativity is essential, especially in these challenging times where many exhibit selfishness, arrogance, and cruelty. The most effective strategy is to distance ourselves from such influences and refrain from participating in their harmful conduct. If you've been hurt by such individuals, it's important to seek help, rebuild your trust in God, and enhance your resilience against similar future occurrences. Remember, altering someone's character is beyond your control. Your focus should be on entrusting the situation to God and prioritizing your own well-being. While it's important to isolate ourselves from toxic individuals, it's ultimately God's task to handle their wicked spirits in due course. Today, we've discussed the satanic spirits influencing narcissism and the darkness that can emerge from narcissists. Most of us have encountered narcissistic behavior at some point. However, have you ever pondered that a darker force might be at work? Narcissists are individuals who unknowingly succumb to satanic spirits influencing their actions. These spirits lure them with the illusion of confidence, power, and control. Regrettably, narcissists, burdened by intense guilt they constantly try to cover and deny, become easy prey for these harmful forces. Their assault targets our minds, and if they infiltrate our thoughts, they can taint our relationships and spread turmoil in our lives. This susceptibility makes narcissists an ideal target for malevolent forces aiming not only to ruin the narcissist's life, but also to adversely affect everyone around them. Narcissism is often driven by nine common satanic spirits, envy, control, pride, deception, confusion, condemnation, witchcraft, fear, and isolation. These spirits disrupt our connection with God, subject us to emotional turmoil, ensnare us in harmful thoughts and fool us into thinking we must correct others' misbehavior. Envy fosters bitterness, control manipulates for personal advantage, and pride inflates a sense of superiority. Deception hides the truth to boost the narcissist's ego, while confusion disorients victims. Condemnation suppresses self-esteem, and witchcraft incites rebellion for personal gain. Fear, often the root of a narcissist's actions, traps them in guilt and destructive behavior. In the face of these negative forces, we must recognize and avoid toxic individuals. Ultimately, however, it's God who will handle their wicked spirits. If hurt by such individuals, prioritize your well-being and trust in God's love and guidance. 
Remember, you can't change someone's character, rather, entrust it to God and focus on your well-being. In conclusion, equip yourself with knowledge, stand firm in your faith, and don't let these negative forces control your life. Instead, focus on God's guidance and protect your well-being. Until next time, have a nice day.